tomorrow we are playing uh, practically, uh, practically an elimination game uh, against uh, Nizhny. Uh, it's the team that uh, is really good offensive team. Uh, is the team that uh, always is playing for the high uh, number of uh, points. Uh, in their game, uh, statical game on the half court, I would say, is a really uh, strong. Uh, and uh, I think so overall, it's going to be really a uh, close game. Uh, in the last two days, we have um, two good practices. I think so they also mentally recover after the tough loss that we have in Israel League. And I think so we are ready as much we can be ready at uh, this moment for this game. Whenever you have a loss, especially when you have a loss like we did it, what I do always, I always sit down, first of all, with myself and then with the, uh, the rest of my stuff, and we, you need to, to analyze. I think so the making decision, like you say, by the passion is not a smart thing. So we need to cool down, you need to watch the game, you need to see what is the really reason. Basic reason is in the last two months that we didn't have a three practice with the 10 players. So he, we, we can look here for the number of the other reasons that could be done better, but all the sum of the other, all the other reason is a 10%. Not having the players to practice, not, not being able to, to do the normal routine day after day, it's a basic and the, and the most, most important reason uh, for this. We are playing with the one point guard, they will be playing with the two big guys, they will be playing with a lot of guys. This is not something that I need to talk about, but there is a number of the time that our, our, our players sacrifice their bodies and play injured. They play under the, the conditions that they uh, didn't supposed to play. But because of the team, because of the importance, because of everything, they did it. When you lose the game like we lose the last game, especially important is the mental part. Okay? We, this is the second time that we, did, that we had since I came here a meeting like that. You sit down, you talk. You let guys, talk, uh, you let uh, players talk, and you listening what they have to say. It's not uh, smart things for the coach to every day that you only talk and tell them what to do. You need to sit down. You need to listen what players have to say. The Maccabi, like any other big team, during the seasons have ups and downs. So the meeting like we have yesterday with the players, it is something that uh, any team I was a member of is happening once or twice a year. How team gonna react on that? For the next game, I really cannot predict. I can only tell you that in the last two practices, team showed the spirit, team showed the game, the, the wish to, to move on, and they know the, net, the week that is upcoming is really important uh, for all of us. What kind of the game re, uh, result we're going to have? I don't know. If we're going to bring everything to play tomorrow, 100%, I have no, no doubt. The power of this arena where we are playing it was not on the floor. The power of this arena where we are playing was around. It was people around. The special effect that Maccabi's arena was having was, uh, was around. It was the people who are coming and are bringing and staying with the players. I'm hoping that tomorrow, for the tomorrow's game, which is a crucial for us, we can have some of the support. Because it's really, it's really, really important when somebody's coming from outside, playing in the, the, the gym, feeling the heat, the people in the gym traditionally bring.